Alrighty, folks, what is going on today? And as you can tell by the title, yes, we do have another busted me busted play of the week. Are you guys ready? If you guys watched my video, I believe on Thursday, or I don't know, whenever I uploaded SBU Zombies, um, I pretty much told you guys that I'm going to figure out if I can go bore load all four bore swords cards with just three, just three cards. I mean, just two cards, folks. And yes, I believe I have found it. We're going to find out right now if we're going to find it because I've been trying to test it, but I always mess up towards the end, but I do know how to get there. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. And as always, folks, if you guys do enjoy this video and if you like the combo and stuff like that, leave a like uh, down below. Also, um, if you guys do enjoy this video, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already and click an ad to help support the channel or you guys can donate any help will be very supportive but anyways let's go ahead and get straight into it now is this meta relevant hell no the reason why i say it's not meta relevant is because doing all this it is it, no point to go for boar lords in one game or in your opening turn because it's terrible okay so no this is not meta relevant could you play this actual deck yes you can but it's not meta relevant so don't think it that it's all this gift you know all this stuff 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 but anyways Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. I just had to say that because, you know, a lot of people are going to take this and run with it and say, oh, we just get good day. Listen, just a fun combo as most Busted McBusted plays are, uh, except for the Vendred one. The, the Vendred one was actually a competitive, but yeah. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. So as you guys already know, just you need two cards, two, two funky cards, which is a solitaire and a pre-prep. And um, I believe this, hold on, let me see if I can make this go a little faster. It's a little choppy right now, folks. All right, folks, so hopefully, no, it's still choppy. All right, it's going to be choppy because I am actually loaded up on another um, an, another part of the game. I like I have two what's the names opened up. So anyways, the play starts as normal. Um, all right, we're just going to set it. Like I said, you know, just some stuff happens. Uh, well, we're going to open up with uh, this. This, this the, You guys already know pretty much. Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. See, I told you I just messed up all the time. Um, but yeah, pretty much what you want to do is just do the regular play. Um, yeah, you don't have to use spiritualist, but once again, if you have this two card combo, this is going to be five cards in your hand. So you can use spiritualist if you want to. You don't have to really worry about it. You could just, just draw and discard it. That's fine. Then we go straight into our vampire sucker. Now, this is very, 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 very I'm trying to, what I mean by this is not, this is, you, you can't technically play with the deck. I, I wouldn't, though. This is kind of pointless to do all that. But, Everything here, if you guys have been watching my channel, is pretty much standard. Go into that, get a free draw off a of sucker. Burial, don't worry about it. If you have burial at any point in this combo, it makes it significantly significantly easier. But folks, um, that's we're not going to be using burial, so we don't need that. Oh, we already caught monsters. I did it so fast, I didn't even realize I did it. All right, so once again, here is where... Now, after this play, this is where it gets very different from the usual... Um, the the usual um, was the usual suspects with the usual deck that I do play. All right, so here, no, not right here. Here is every everything right here up to the same. So if you guys have been watching this, if you've seen the two card combo before, everything is exactly the same. Um, but this does do this does include um, a, a Vendre Savior and Shinobi Necro. I don't think it's possible without it, probably. But I'm just not going to put in that much work. I'm just playing. But uh, yeah, I just found like it's it's a lot easier if you do that. So. Here, we're going to do our standard play. Here, we're going to grab ourselves a Mizuki. Then, we're going to sum go Summon Sorcerers into a Firewall. Now, here is where it very differs from the what the play I usually do. The play I usually do is add back um, Goblin Zombie, but we're not going to be doing that right now. What we're going to be doing is just going straight into Mermaid. And, folks, this is... This is 100% necessary. You need to keep a monster in your hand. If you do not have a monster already in your hand, you need to ditch whatever. You basically need to you need to keep Slayer. You need to keep a monster in your hand throughout this combo. So, yeah, you do. You're always going to have a monster in your hand, but I'm just saying you're definitely going to need to keep a monster. If you draw into another monster, once again, you guys already know, but you do need a monster. So here... We're going to go Proxy Dragon and over. So it, you can use it. It doesn't really matter. This is not... <laughs> This is not uh, meta relevant. You can use Ebly if you want to or not. So here, as you can see, we still haven't used Firewall's effect. We're not going to use it until the very end. So here we're going to get back our, uh, what's the name, Goblin Zombie. Then we're going to link these two off for a second Mermaid, I mean second Phoenix. So we're going to put Phoenix over there. And you guys already know where this is going. We're going to grab us a Zombie Master. And this is why it's key to keep a monster in your hand because you would not be able to use Zombie Master's effect if you do um, not have a monster in hand. So... 
we're going to summon our zombie master and then here you're going to ditch zombie master and get the goblin zombie back so now what you want to do is go into your cerberus so now you have three cards pointed towards firewall and you know you can uh you can use cerberus if you want it's entirely up to you here you want to grab a mizuki so make sure you grab a mizuki at this point in time so now you want to use firewall you want to leave goblin in the graveyard if you do not leave goblin in the graveyard the play gets a lot worse so you're going to just add back any three monsters that you can keep in your hand you can add back three rituals anything like that so first and foremost we're going to go straight into a borlo dragon now you can put I, I don't i think you can put this up here i'm not sure you can put it over here i believe you can but it doesn't really matter you, you you're going to be able to do fun stuff with it so here you go you want to special summon your zombie master once again you want to make sure that your firewall can trigger at every point of the time so here we're going to grab us a zombie master and here is where we go adventure and savior yes i know it's not out but it's very key for this combo firewall you don't have to use it um I, I chose not to use it at this point in time so yeah there we go so you want to grab yourself a shinobi necro and the reason why you want to grab shinobi necro i'm pretty sure you guys can tell we're going all four borlo so here you want to add back origin that is very key as well then you want to use zombie master and the card you have to ditch is shinobi necro so you want to ditch shinobi necro you want to special summon that young goblin zombie right bam so then what you want to do is use all four of these. You can go Boral Sword. Um, I choose one to keep this alive because of what's the name. Um, so that's what we're going to do here. We're going to go Boral Sword Dragon using one, two, and three. Bam. Boom. Right. Um, uh, firewall. No. Once again, you do not use Firewall. And here is where you grab your Gozuki folks. And then what you want to do here is use Origin. Use Origin. Bam. So you want to summon Slayer. You make sure you summon Slayer. So you want to get Necro. And you want to, uh, you can banish, you can banish anything you want now as you, as you want. Um, you want to summon Slayer and you want to summon, the, I mean, Necro triggers because you banished it from the graveyard. And so now what you can do is go into a sick, I mean, to a level eight, which is Borload Savage Dragon. And you go right here because you want to block off, um, you want to block it off. So bam, then Firewall triggers. And then, yeah, you do want to activate Borload Savage Dragon. It doesn't really matter. Um, all this is going to work out the same way. Then you want to special summon your Gozuki. Sorry for this being all choppy. You want to get the most counters, so you got to get yourself a what's the name. And then what you want to do here is use your la use your Gozuki to get your last Mizuki out of the deck. And then what you want to do here is use Mizuki to bring back a link to and bam, folks, with two cards we have went into all four borlo monsters and once again you still have three other cards in your hand folks you still have three other cards and you have all four borlos on the field Woo! damn that took me a minute to figure out too to be honest with you it took me a minute now once again all this can be destroyed that is not that's not what we're here for okay that is not what we're here for it can all be destroyed now if you want to be real fancy you could have co-linked every single one of them you could have instead of going boral sword right here you can go boral guard right there and then you know you can just um go use all this to go uh you can actually go boral guard right there and then go boral sword over there with your last link four play and then you'd be good but yes folks with two cards with pre-prep in solitaire you can summon all four boar loads and don't forget folks you still have three other cards in your hand you still have three other cards so you have a six in hand and three of four boar load monsters you have basically you, you have negations you have a uh, taken you have fucking that's why you wouldn't want to do that though because you wouldn't be able you wouldn't be able to take with a boar load but man can i get some props folks can i get some props with that oh man that is fresh that is fresh to death and uh yeah man thank you guys for watching i hope you guys did enjoy that video like comment and subscribe if you have not already four board loads man i made four board loads in one fucking turn with two cards can y'all please just give it to me come on y'all gotta hand it to your boy man y'all gotta hand it to your boy anyways thank you guys for watching hope you guys did enjoy that video um you know shout out to everybody that's that's just cool man i just really appreciate it man anyways that is it you guys tell me what you guys can come up with let me know what four cards you guys i mean two cards let's see what you all can get with pre-prep and solitaire folks just let me know but yeah that's it for today i will see you guys tomorrow